Well, the Pulaski County Sheriff will have a new view on the actions of his deputies. Yeah, every deputy on the street and inside the jail will get a body worn camera. THV 11's David Lipman joining us to show what the new system can do and what it's already done. Yeah, Don and Craig, lots of law enforcement agencies have gotten cameras recently for their officers and their patrol cars, but there aren't many that also have them inside their jails. We hope to help set the trend for other detention facilities across the state that believe in the need for cameras within their facilities as well. The largest county jail in the state is now the most watched. Sheriff Eric Higgins says it makes perfect sense that jailers would have body cameras. And I think it's going to help us have a safer environment within our facility to uh, not only evaluate the actions of the of the deputies that work here, but also the people who are housed here. A federal grant helped the sheriff's office afford the camera system. It'll have cameras facing inside and outside all 121 patrol cars and on the uniforms of all 235 deputies. They start recording any time a deputy grabs their handgun or stun gun, if they're on a high-speed chase or any other stressful moment when they might not think to turn theirs on manually. They're always on, but they're set for a, um, uh, when you activate, if you turn the blue lights on, um, uh, things like that, it will um, record a certain period before before that. Deputies say they're confident in these new cameras because they've already used them during high stakes situations. They were testing out this Axon body camera system on July 4th when there was a fireworks war in this field in College Station and several people got hurt. You know, deputies were excited to have them. Uh, a lot of them said it's, it's time. The total cost for the system is more than a million dollars. Sheriff Higgins says he changed the budget so that instead of replacing a dozen patrol cars, he could afford these cameras. He said this purchase is one of his biggest priorities when he got elected last fall. I think it's unacceptable in 2019 that we do not have this technology available, not only to our deputies, but also to the citizens of Plassey County. And Sheriff Higgins said he expected to have all those cameras, both in the street and in the jail, in the next couple of weeks.